Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March. All right, your first card is the Two of Wands with the Six of Cups, Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, the Strength card, Death card. Four of Pentacles, the King of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Whoa, what's going on, Cancers? Okay, so with the two here, the two of uh, wands, I feel that for a lot of you Cancers out there, for the month of January, uh, sorry, January, I don't know why I said January, for the month of February, there's going to be a lot of... Um, what they're showing me here is that partnerships is going to be very crucial and important for you guys for this month. Um, now, keep in mind, partnerships does not necessarily mean love and romance. It can also represent uh, partnerships in business. It can also represent partnerships within uh, like friendships or unionships um, of any sort in business and finances and money, um, anything like that. Now, I feel that for some of you guys, or the majority of you guys, you guys are going to be experiencing some type of setback when it comes to love and romance. Um, now, with the two of wands here at the center, I feel that your current situation is about uh, being able to choose the person that is right for you. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with like uh, more than one person having to choose between... Uh, a new romance and a person that you've known from the past as the obstacle here is the six of cups so the six of cups indicates to me uh, a connection from the past and this is what's holding you back cancer uh so it could be it could be the idea of love uh that you've had in the past that is becoming a blockage to the present so this could speak about our ideals when it comes to love and romance what we think love is or how we show love uh, there could be some misconstrued or a misunderstanding of partnerships for some of you uh, it could be that you're dealing with uh, if you have children it could be that you're still dealing with the baby daddy or the baby mama um, and, and there's like a fear, almost like if I can't find the, the person that's right for me, should I continue leaving the door open for this person from the past? Because they feel like home or because they're comfortable or because you've known them for a very long time, whatever your situation may be. Now, in the past and passing, we, th we do have the three of wands. So I feel that it's, it's almost like a, a tug and pull between wanting to move forward in the future but you always keep coming back to the past and this could even represent for some of you it could even represent like you start relationships but they go sour and you always end up coming back to the past or to a past lover now what they're telling you here is that you have the death card so there is a transition or an ending that has occurred or has been occurring in your life when it comes to love and romance but for some reason you kept you keep resisting or you have an issue with letting go of people from the past now if you're currently in a long-term committed relationship or in a marriage I do see that there is a person from the past of your partner that will be coming up in March where they're really going to test your relationship. I think there's been some things that perhaps have been like hidden or they weren't completely honest about. And this is directly speaking about the past. So, you know, what they're trying to say is these things that will be coming up or that this person will be revealing is nothing of the present or the future. It's more to do about the past and something that the partner wasn't completely honest to you about. Now with the death card here and the nine of pentacles, I do see um, either the desire 
to walk away from this situation or someone is wanting to give up on this partnership. Now we do have the strength card and this is what's crowning you. So what they're telling you is you will have the strength or you will find the strength within you to understand and know what this or what's the best decision for you to take. Uh, unfortunately for some of you, it could represent, um, it could represent having some time apart or the relationship coming to an end because of this situation from the past. Now, your advice card here is the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles could represent having, there is almost like, um, there is almost this feeling of kind of when you're overprotective or you kind of smother your partner. And what they're telling you is that love, there's freedom in love. Okay, there's freedom in love and not a lot of people understand that. To love someone genuinely and accept them for who they are, that means that you understand that both of you are two separate individuals and both of you have different separate needs, meaning not every path that you take in life means that your partner has to be um, on the same path. So what I'm trying to say here is that there is someone in this relationship that could be over smothering, over protective, or you just don't want to give space to your partner. And the energy currently influencing your partner is the king of cups. So for some of you, it could be dealing with another water energy, or it could just represent that your partner is being overly sensitive and getting to the point of almost like, I feel the king of cups in the, and the, reverse position which signifies a person that has either issues with alcoholism um they could have issues with dealing with their emotions and there is if you can see here there's like fishes and uh, you know on the surface of the water which indicates to me suppressed emotions are coming up that are coming to surface so what they're saying is if you have a tendency of being very jealous, very protective, or not giving enough space to your partner, um, these issues that will come into play about their past or something that they weren't completely honest to you about is really going to challenge the relationship. And I do have the nine of pentacles with the five of cups. So for some of you guys, this could be like uh, pretty much the the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak. Uh, with the Five of Cups and Nine of Pentacles, it does indicate grieving or hurting because of the loss of a relationship. Um, so I'm going to pull out two more cards just to get clarification. Yeah. So here's the thing. We have the Hierophant and the Devil, two major arcanas. So for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship or marriage, I do see the marriage is going to be tested for this month. And I feel that for some of you guys, time apart is going to be needed. Um, if you or your partner asks for some time apart, I would highly encourage you guys to, in fact, give each other space, give each other room to breathe. Uh, should you not want to do that or should you not give each other some room or space, I think that uh, the conclusion of this relationship is inevitable for some of you. Uh, for others of you, those of you guys that are in a are currently single you may be dealing with a partner or someone that is in fact married uh, and that's quickly going to come to surface whether you were aware of it or not uh, i do see it almost like kind of like a bombshell so for some of you um for some of you i feel that things that are going to be coming out in the open are things you didn't know about so it's going to catch you off guard um but what they're saying here is that with the devil card, again, I feel that there is certain issues that we need to work on, whether it's possessiveness, uh, overdoing and smothering your partner. I feel that this is something you have to keep in check, Cancer, uh, because it speaks more about your um, issues or, or, or healing that needs to happen with you uh, versus your partner being bothered by it and it are having a greater effect on the relationship as a whole. I think that this is more to do with your insecurities. Um, 
Now, if you are in fact dealing with a third party situation or uh, some news that came or will be coming out about your partner, what they're saying here is that we all have a past, okay? We all have a past and if this was something that they kept from you, for some of you guys, it could be even finding out that the partner has a child with someone else. Um, but what I'm saying here is that if this is a situation where whatever happened or whatever current circumstance is something that was done before you, we all have a past and we need to understand that. And it's about growth and advancement and growing and expanding. Um, of course, if it's like a child involved or something, of course, they have the, you know, as a relationship, they should be honest with you. Um, but if it's something that was done in the past that they didn't tell you about and it's coming out in the open, don't be quick to walk away from this relationship. Uh, because I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's almost like you didn't expect it. You make, you may make an erratic decision and later on come to regret it. So just be careful with that. Okay. I hope this gave you guys some type of clarity and I hope that if anything, you get um, the understanding that sometimes we got to let certain things simmer down to be able to see it from more like a clear perspective or from a more calmer place uh, than to make erratic decisions that affect, you know, especially if you have children or it's a marriage, that it affects more than you outside of you. It affects other people. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it gives you some type of clarity and we'll see each other soon. Bye.